Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're here at South Shore Marina, and we're here at South Shore Marina, even though we originally wanted to launch at uh, Friendly Fisherman, which is like in Bybee Avenue, but the locks are closed. So my whole plan of fishing, bass first thing, then like waiting for the tide to fall, then going after speckled trout, that's all getting a monkey wrench thrown in it right now. I am here today. The reason I'm not in my truck and I'm in my boat is that <laughs> he just can't figure out how to start the truck. I have like this weird security system on my truck. Let me go help him out. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what's up with my boat. I mean, my truck, whatever. But uh, we're launching out of South Shore Marina today and we are gonna go catch some speckled trout, maybe to do some bass because I've got the jigginess with me. That is Jig Master Jamie. And he's one of the best anglers that I personally know. And going back to like my fishing trip with Captain Adam Shields, you want to surround yourself with good anglers, right? It helps you get better and it's just fun. So let's launch this boat, let's get it in the water, and let's roll out and see what we can get on. Good morning. What's going on, man? What, what's your name, dude? Mitch, nice to meet you. Good luck to you, too. Nice, nice to meet you. There don't have to be birds here. I'm going to graph it. Dude, there's a lot of bait in the water here. Well, I mean, I got some three quarter ounce jig heads. You just want to give this a whack. This has not been good to me in like the last two or three years. And if, and if it has shit been good, be the shit. I think it's too early for the spot. All right, this is, that's, and that's the thing. Like I'm just sitting here looking to be like, all right, is anyone, just run and get a spot the wall. yeah, we can always come oh, back here. People see other boats and they stop. Yeah. I've seen a diving birds. Yeah, let's just get to work. I'm seeing all kinds of stuff on the graph. But it's just like junk in the water. It's not really anything awesome. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is my buddy, uh, Jamie. He's the jig master. He's the jigginist. And like I was saying at the marina, which apparently, uh, hey, can you drop that trolling motor real quick? Apparently I had like a bunch of yellow crap on my mouth from a, um, like a shake I had this morning, part of my weird morning routine, but uh, he's good. He's really good. I've learned a whole lot of stuff from him. And just when I thought I had it all figured out, Jamie's always been there to be like, uh, hey, here's this one thing you don't know, dumbass. And uh, uh, then I get schooled. So he's really good at fishing. He's good to have in the boat. If you're gonna take someone fishing, take someone who's better at fishing than you. We think, we surmise possibly that speckled trout could be this far inside. And there's only one way to know and that's to go, so let's get to work. That's insane. Ooh, dude, I just got thumped right there, man. Uh, I'm down, whichever one you wanna do. Well, if I can make a a list of like all the different ways to bust your ass on the boat. This would be, this would definitely be on that list. Dude. Make it. We got three eight ounce jig head on. Is it a matrix head, golden eye jig head? Uh, black, black. Oh, okay, so it's probably weighs a little less than three eight. It's probably more like five sixteenths. All right, so skunks out the boat. I think I think the temperature just f***ed them up is what happened. Because the water temperature dropped like eight degrees, dude. 
That is. Ooh, right there. Dude, just slow retrieving it, man. Cannot believe this is working right now. The other side of the wall. Oh, that's a nice trout, dude. Yeah. Here we go. Roger's loaded up, dude. Uh, maybe. The jig master, the jigginist, is doing what he does. It's, uh... <laughs> just... Ooh, there we go. They're back. Boink. Another keeper. Are oh, you hooked up? Nice. Ooh, yeah. That felt good. Here we go. So that was a the, the craziest, tiniest little bite. Oh yeah. Bam. Look at that. I was just doing a slow reel. Oh, you have a keep. Oh, yeah, boy. Stay buttoned up, baby. We'll keep a speckled trout. Oh, there we go, baby. That was a good bite. Look at that. That's a speckled trout for you on that Cocodree candy, the Cajun Lures Mad Mina. Not a bad bait. Not a bad bait at all. Here we go. That's our cupper. All right, let's catch more of those. Anyways, I'm sorry. I brutally interrupted you with my trout catch. You hooked up? Oh yeah, boy. That was a weird bite. Man, that was another weird bite. Just kind of lifted up on it and just blasted it. We're gonna leave. Oh, yeah. We're gonna leave. It's like you guys just talk smack about leaving and then you start catching keepers. Get right back out to see if, uh, if he's got buddies. Dang, dude. Yep. Yeah, uh, on the retrieve, not jigging it either. More speckle trout. Tell you what, though, I gotta launch that little 100 probably farther than he really got there. The 100s are awesome. Just look at it, just like covered in trout grime and crap and everything else. It just gets down in there and it's still rocking and rolling. That which makes me wonder if uh, they're just going up and down the wall in here. If they're doing that here, they're doing that over there. There's no way they're not doing that over there. Dude, th three more casts. If we don't catch anything, we're gone. Gotcha. Dude, if we could get on those rocks and whack them, like doing our yeah, thing. Like this and... All right, sweet. Trolling motor's taking us out. Put all this junk away. We got this whole bad, we got this whole bad boy to ourselves. We'll just start right here. Somehow we have this whole thing to ourselves. All right, stupid fish. I'm gonna feed you this madman, and you're gonna like it. I mean, dude, if, if they're speckled trout that made it back there in that little spot i don't think there's a body that goes back there dude if they managed to get there in that tiny little hole there's there's no way there's not speckled trout out here there's just no way oh yeah if the trout are there it don't matter i mean it's, it's just hard to like if you know they're there you can go and you can fish it hard but you can locate them but it's kind of hard when you dude right right there in that corner 
Oh, it can't be a trout. It's a nice trout. Yeah, boy. That's the speckled trout. We can't run in four. Again, this is my favorite jigging setup. It's a Daiwa Tatula 100 on a Daiwa Tatula six foot three inch rod. It's a little bit lighter and 12 pound fluorocarbon. I have a cool little montage of trout with flying in the cooler. People love that. That's another keeper. There we go. This is the kind, I call this a Devin Denman speckle trout, because it's just a speckle trout you look at and like, hell yeah. Or keeper speckle trout. Jamie's hooked up. Nice. Threw up a little bit, yeah he did. Good. Oh yeah, boy. I hear you going crazy over there. These are the, these are the trout. Mm-hmm. Catch up the wall. Oh yeah. All right. All right, so it's really hard to beat this kind of setup. And you'll be fishing around people who have a live bait, shrimp, cockahoes, I don't care, whatever, man. It's just, it's, it's just so hard to beat this. And we're gonna throw this Mad Mena. What I really like about these new, this new design of Mad Mena is he has this space in the fin that the hook can come through. So it makes for a cleaner, a much cleaner rigging. That's a good keeper. Dude, that was, that man, that was definitely a strange bite. It's like it's like a. You expect it to hit grass and then they peg it. Oh, dude, he's 12 all day long. That was crazy. It, it just, it, it, dude, he's just like not slacking it when he hit it. You're on the spot. That's what I'm saying. He not slack. He hit it hard. I've been going too far to the right. They're in one little spot right there. I'm gonna try and throw a couple different things. Annoying. The weight came off. My uh, <clears throat> my nine-year-old daughter got a hold of my sharpie and went through all my t tackle boxes and uh, put hearts and stuff on them. All right, try it. Let's see if we can't dial you in and figure you out. Do this. Do it now. Come on. At the same time you got hit, I was, I was getting hit. Here we go. That guy ought to keep. So this guy ought to keep too. Oh yeah, boy! Oh yeah! Oh, this is a nice fish. Got a little sockley bait on a little Bobby Garland. All right, guys. If you don't like jigging, this is an alternative. You know, I do think jigging is a better way of doing it. This is a, a Daiwa BG. Like what, what's that? Like a 2,500 on a Daiwa Saltus drop shot rod. That is eight pound Daiwa J braid. Makes that really high vis color. But bait size doesn't, I don't think it really matters so much. You know, people get little shrimp at the bait shop and they complain about it. They don't know what they're talking about because look at the size of this bait that I caught that fish on. The itty bitty little Bobby Garland. This is the kind of fish you want to be catching right here. Let's just give it, let's go do, let's, you know what, let's, let's just call this a wrap. I don't want to videotape the bass in the canal. Okay. And, uh, We'll just call this a wrap. Kind of been out here all day and we're just ready to go home and they got tropical storm or rather category four hurricane delta on the way right now. So we got to go home and back down the hatches for that. 
Uh, overall, not a bad day of fishing. I would have to say that, I don't know, we got a pretty good box of fish there and we'll count it up once we get back to the marina. Otherwise, we're just gonna head back to the marina. So if you got any questions or comments, you just wanna talk fishing, post it up in the comment section below. Now, if you would like to learn more about a lot of the different fishing techniques that we were using today, you know, like jigging, drop shotting, throw, throwing suspending baits, uh, drifting, whatever, I have a course about all of this called Inshore Fishing 201, as well as other courses that detail fish biology, fish behavior, how to find fish based upon the conditions, etc. And you can learn more about those at lafbelite.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, if you'd like to be notified when the next one drops, by all means, please just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching and tight lines. So let's count up these fish real quick like. Ah. Now ladies and gents, boys and girls, I'll have you know that we made an undisclosed stop in an undisclosed location to catch a lot of bass using an undisclosed technique. Sorry, but we can't give everything away. Just hand them to you. All right, so that's one bass. You want all the bass? It don't matter. Okay, two can, bass. Let me just keep bass. like 10 trout. Three bass. Four bass. Five and six bass. Yeah, 13. Yes, th sure, 13, 14. Three several small ones back and two big ones. So we had, we had 20. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Speckled trout, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, 28, 29. 29, what, 29 and 14? Not bad. 29 speckled trout, 14 bass. Not a bad day.